What's up guys? How's it going? Good to have you back for a sixth installment of Sonic the Hedgehog. Or excuse me, <laughs> I said Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, you use Sonic the Hedgehog, but Sonic Frontiers uh, for our sixth installment. Uh, just want to thank you guys for your support. Checking out my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell and to get the latest drops that I send. So if you also want to just check out my channel, check out some other videos from Sonic Frontiers and I also did an earlier upload about seven months ago last year on Father's Day and that was my first upload just to see how it looks on the internet, see if there's something that I want to do, which is something I definitely want to do and, and am now doing. But just glad to get a chance to play video games, share what I like and even have conversations within the chats if you want to leave a comment in the chat about what I'm doing or what you're doing and how you like this game or any other games as you have seen probably from my other videos I want to feature some other games and I'll probably keep mentioning this, mentioning this until I play it which is Star Wars Jedi Survivor and I'm looking I'm looking you know I got high hopes for that game I mean the first one a Jedi uh, Fallen Order was a really good game and I think it's a really good premise to the character Kyle Kestis and just another perspective of how the Empire came into rule you know I think these are great stories uh, so I'm excited this will also be the be on the PlayStation 5 so I'm pretty stoked about that one and you'll see in my other video um, part 5 installment how I go into some of the more details about Star Wars uh, games on the PS4, or Star Wars uh, Fallen Order on PS4 versus the PS5. <clears throat> so yes, let's go ahead and get into it and let's see what Sonic is facing today. Alright, okay, I already accessed that portal. This looks like I only got two left from that one. box. At one point in time, I tried to break him. Oh, here we go. That dash move never gets old. Pretty nice. <laughs> fought that earlier. I always wondered why after fighting these, I guess, mini titans that they reappear. I never understood that. I mean, and that's this is that's not just Sonic games, but also in Mario Brothers games. You'll defeat an enemy. If you go a few ways and you come back, that enemy will be there again. Um, even after you've already defeated it. I always wonder why that was. like a loop function or something <laughs> for those who do any type of programming or video game programming I was thinking about maybe a loop function or something when they show up in certain parameters and it just shows the enemy in certain parameters within the programming of the video game just shows the enemy and it resets every time you leave or something See, those triangles are, are tempting because when I see the triangle I just have to hit it you know like you see the red button you just have to press it I'm one of those people if I see a string I have to pull it if I see a button I have to press it and you know this could be like don't press this button the world will end not saying I would press it but the temptation would be enormous don't know why it's just uh, I can only account for curiosity 
Now this one I've had some trouble with trying to get this map marker. I'm not entirely sure how to get it. Maybe I'll unlock some other rebels here, but let's check this out up here. Good, good. Here we go. Trying to power up. I wonder how to get to that gate. Ah, missed my target. This game is too tempting to just run fast and just run across for no apparent reason. Just run, run, run. Again, that whole dropping out of the sky thing just throws me off because any normal person or animal <laughs> would likely perish for being in the ICU for a very painfully long time. Still haven't figured this one out. Hmm. There's got to be something over there. Something nearby, of course, but what? And it's funny because you know how you solve something and you go back to it and you have no idea how you solved it. I don't know, maybe that's just me <laughs> because people, you know, little, you know, if you're trying to do a certain task and it does, it's not just game, but just with anything and you take the time and process to figure out something and then you go back and you're like, what on earth did I do? You know what I'm saying? Or maybe not, <laughs> but for me sometimes, if like, if I don't leave any breadcrumbs, uh, so to speak, then I'll sometimes forget how on earth I even solved what it is I solved. And it's not every time, you know, it could be like a new a new goal you're trying to get and you're trying to figure it out and this is your first time going through that process. But then you have to kind of walk through it all over again because <laughs> you forget how. Ah, oh, I miss it again. Beat you uh, quite a few times, Mr. Top Spin Guy. I see squid in the distance. There's my marker. Let's just get on this rail here. Uh, ah, why am I missing that? This is a straight uh, vertical jump. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to get to that gate. Let's look at this. It's almost nighttime. See these little light trees. Hmm. Can't punch them. Nighttime. I'm thinking maybe you have to open this map during the nighttime, or this portion of the map. Yeah, this confuses me a little. It goes up, goes down. Hmm. Interesting. I just realized he sleeps standing up. <laughs> I 
I'm tired too, sir. <laughs> Back to this moss tree. Let's see if be anything of significance that I can do maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. Big gigantic stuff around these other trees. If I can make it. Okay, there we go. These two here. Let's see what happens. Last one. Nice. Alright. Sonic transportation system is open for business. admire the balance that Sonic is uh, maintaining here. I'm still just running around here. I haven't. I mean, I have some. I'm, I know there's some objectives. You know, still got to collect the vault keys for the portals. But I'm just too tempted to kind of run around here. I'm collecting rings as if I I can hold any more. Of course, you know, 400 is the maximum. But I'm just so intrigued by this game, even though I've been playing it for a while. Just so intrigued about. The dynamics of the game and I mean how it's just really this island is really a sonic course if it does take a while for me to kind of figure things out it's because I'm not using a gamer guide a video game guide I know I had said I consider using a video game guide in the earlier, I think one of the earlier videos. Uh, I just never got around to it and I kind of wanted to just freelance it and see how it plays out. You know, kind of just learn things on your own. You not learn it as quick as you read a game guide. Oh, on another fight. Try to jump up and get that. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, got it. I understand why I'm grabbing all these rings. I can't get any more. Four seconds.
dangerously close to my head. Now you may also see me go through some of these uh, repetitively, and this is just good practice. I know it can get a bit monotonous sometimes, but it's also good practice for other future obstacles. Like reaction time, you know, how to time your jumps. And also learning you know, stringing together combos, learning combos and stringing them together. crazy That was anticlimactic. I thought I was gonna, I wasn't paying attention to where this rail would lead. So uh, let's jump on this one. And, oh, come on.
Thanks, okay. <laughs> oh man, can you spell it out any easier? Oh, oh. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There was a way to do like a complete 180 where Sonic just, uh, just changes directions. Because sometimes jumping is not always going to hit your target. Or you just have to be more precise when you jump. If you're trying to go the other direction and you have to jump to change direction, you have to learn how to hit the targets better. I think this might take me over the wall. I'm not sure. I mean, we saw that gigantic, whatever that thing was, over the, on the, look, look, from that pyramid, saw that gigantic whatever. It looked like a gigantic dog. I was just breathing really heavily. <laughs> and that thing was so big and so far, you could see it breathing. some grass right there in that waterfall. I wonder what's there. Well, other than the grass in the waterfall. Let's see if we get that spiked heart. Yeah, some definitely what a view! Makes me think of the falls and mystic ruins. <laughs> Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Looks like I can go above it. No worries, I'll figure something out eventually. Let's 
I don't like fighting this thing. It is abnormally fast. I'm not sure why this thing is so fast. <laughs> it's annoying trying to fight it because it's like it tracks your every move. I don't know how. I guess maybe you can dodge it or use a uh, deflect or a uh, parry. That thing is insanely fast. It's actually kind of funny to fight because you're trying, steadily trying to get away from it. It's just tracking your every movement. Get some more of these. I just realized something playing this this game. Of course, it, Sonic doesn't sleep. It's like night and day. He's just running around trying to save his friends. But that's what a lot of games they don't uh, characters don't sleep. It's just funny though. In Fallout, you get to sleep. <laughs> I mean, if you choose to. Oh, what's this? Hmm. That. Oh, okay. Oh. Exactly. The circle. Okay. That was a lot. M015. It just dawned on me that's a spiked heart. It's a lot of map markers. Oh, you go through all these maps and only just uncovers a small section, which I'm not complaining about. It just seems relatively small. And thankfully, it still uncovers other map locators. So you're not kind of wandering around trying to find these map locators. At least, you know, uncovers one so you can start to find the others. So let's try that circle thing around here. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Get the ball in. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> the last video, I kind of struggled with trying to figure this thing out. I tried jumping on it and everything. Never consider running in circles. I mean, I'm just seeing, I got all the map markers here, at least the outline of the island. There's some of them still missing, of course. Some of the portals I've conquered. Here's my first boss battle. Let's try this one.
все. Thank you very much. Oh, this wasn't that good. It's like riding the express. There goes that low flying bird again. I'm all over you, bird. And I really appreciate the developer is adding more rails as you unlock the map a little more and it takes away from the perceived monotony of going through some of these rail systems as you begin to unlock the rail or unlock uh, different map locations you see different rails so even if you just want to go on a really fun ride for whatever reason you have those extra rails and yeah, if you just want to get around the board a little faster that's fun as well Okay, let's go up here. Let's see, all right. Let's take it to the left. To the right, take it to the center. You guys see that? I got a closer look of whatever it was on the other side of that waterfall. I think it's on the other side of that waterfall. There's no easy. There's no way. For, it doesn't seem like there's a way for me to get to it, or at least just yet. I think it might be that Titan that I fought earlier, where it flung, or flung Sonic across the across the island. It's just monstrous. Huh. So cool around this. Oh, okay. What's this button? up some progress here but it looks like it's still an uncharted area and getting these map markers is like getting door prizes because you know you always get awarded something if you ever watch the prices right shot what's behind door number one Field is figured out. 
to go along the game. Took care of that map marker. Let's get down here and see what this is. This must be under. Am I over? This squid really has it out for me. I'm telling you. But you already got served earlier, squid. There they go. Come on, come on. Okay, I got stuck. Does it just keep going like that? Oh, it explodes. Maybe that's why I probably couldn't find the other ones because after you hit it, it does that and then it detonates after a while, but not before it tries to chase you and run you down. Chases you down, tries to run you down, and then it blows up. Assuming that bomb is meant for Sonic. field. Let's see here. Alright. What is this? create a, uh, remove the gap between that. Oh, I've already got this so let's check this out. <laughs> Grab some purple doubloons. These guys are just chilling out here, watching the sunset, soaking up life. This, I'm gonna circle around this here. Hmm. I'll take it. Right. Let's give it a quick roll. Oh, it's Kronos Island Explorer Trophy Iron. Did I get all the. Trophies? Yeah, oh! Fast travel to all portals unlocked. 
And I think that's that area behind. Okay, once all challenges are completed, well, reveal fast travel portals become available. Changing the map field to right corner of the screen. So I got fast travel. And that area unlocked. I'm assuming that's where the waterfall is that I couldn't access to, get access uh, to or through. And where I think that might be a Titan or some crazy looking gigantic dog because it's like hunched over or something <laughs> but yeah i got them all i'm 17 out of 20 keys just collect vault keys from portals color rank with s time Two out of four keys. Huh. Now remember when I was up on the top of that pyramid, it said I needed seven keys to unlock, and I had more than enough keys, but it wasn't unlocked. So I guess I have to clear the keys from the portals to get access. I'm assuming that's because that's how it moves the plot. Uh, that's fine so all right thanks guys again i appreciate it uh yes definitely like to get back to this for our seventh install uh, seventh installment but yeah i hope you like this don't forget to like comment subscribe i really appreciate you guys support and see you next time all right later